Welcome back, Odooers. Let's take a closer look at one of the most unique aspects of the Odoo Events application, the Talk Proposals feature. With Talk Proposals, attendees can pitch their own ideas for tracks they think would be a great addition to an event. All they have to do is go to the event website, click the Talk Proposals link, and fill out the form. Once they've submitted their form, their proposal appears in the back end of the event's application, where an internal user can decide whether or not to add this proposed track to the event agenda. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's jump into our database just to see how easy it is to propose a talk for an event using Odoo. Let's kick things off on our main events dashboard and jump into an event that I've already configured ahead of time, which is this one right here, Design Fair Los Angeles. Our exhibition template, which we've chosen for this exhibit-based event, already has the track proposals menu item option enabled on its template form. And that's basically all the configuration needed. Among the smart buttons at the top, there's a track smart button, and it currently shows that we have 30 tracks in the works for this event. Let's keep that number in mind. From here, let's jump to the event website via the go to website smart button. Then we'll click on the talk proposals subheader menu link, which will reveal a default talks proposals form that Odoo built for us. Now, just like everything else in Odoo, this is fully customizable. To make any modifications or adjustments to this default form, just click the edit button at the top right corner. This will go ahead and reveal a sidebar of useful tools that can be used to customize the look, feel, and content of this page. For example, I don't really like this title, Call for Proposals. So while I'm in edit mode, I'm going to select it and change it to, got an idea for a talk, propose it here. And I can change any other content on this page just as easily. So feel free to really make it your own. Then when you're done, just make sure to click the Saves button here in the upper right corner. Now, let's say we're an attendee and we've got a great idea for a talk. After navigating to the Talk Proposals page, all we have to do is fill out the simple form. I'll enter a new talk title, which will be New Design Trends. Then I'll enter a quick talk introduction, which is a summary of what to expect. Let's go with something like, learn about the coolest new design trends. And even though it's not required, I'll click the categories field right below and choose audience consumers from the resulting drop down menu. It should be noted that you can also add multiple categories if needed. Below that, we have the speaker profile section, wherein the attendee would enter the pertinent information about the speaker who would host the proposed talk. For the sake of time, let's just quickly enter some of the field information here. Let's say the name of the speaker is Sam Sample Tin. And his email is sample at sample.com. And we could also enter their phone number or even upload a picture, but we'll leave that blank for now. And let's say Sam's job title is designer. And Sam's biography, we'll just put an industry expert. At the bottom of the form, there's a checkbox, which is an option that allows the attendee to be contacted through a different email or phone number than what was provided on the talk proposal form. But we're going to leave that blank for now. And when all the necessary information has been entered, we'll click on the Submit Proposal button. Then Odoo will thank the attendee for the recommendation and send the proposed talk to the back end of the Odoo Events application. Let's go ahead and click the gear icon in the upper right corner to return to the event form. You'll recall there are 30 tracks listed via the Track Smart button before the talk was proposed. But when we look at that button now, it shows 31. So let's click on that Track Smart button and take a look. On the Events Track page for this event, you'll see everything is organized in the Kanban columns by default. The first column is the Proposal column. This is where all the proposed talks from the event website will land. Then we can decide internally if we want to accept, announce, schedule, or publish the track, or we can even refuse it. At the bottom of the proposal stage, we see our freshly proposed event track that we just submitted. Let's go ahead and click into that and check it out. On the track form, we see the title. And when we scroll down, we see the speaker information. We can also click the description tab to learn more about the talk and decide how we'd like to proceed. If we review this and don't feel like it's a right fit for the event, we can move this to the refuse stage in the status bar. And if we click that, it's officially marked as refused and hidden in the folded refuse Kanban stage on the event tracks page. 
or if we like what we see, we can add a track date and select apply. Then we can move to the confirm stage to confirm it or announced to let everyone know it's been announced to our attendees. Or we can even click publish to publish it on the event website, making it available for everyone to see. When we moved it to the publish status, you may notice that the go to website smart button at the top changed from the red unpublished status to the green published status, just like that. Of course, any track details can be modified from this form at any time. And if we want to check out this track page on the event website itself, we just have to click on that go to website smart button and voila, there it is. All the important talk info is right here. And this confirm published talk is automatically added to the events agenda as well. And there you have it, Odoers. That's how you configure, customize, utilize, and analyze talk proposals from your event attendees using Odoo. We'll see you in the next video, party people.